Bloody dentist whose heart stopped for nearly 20 minutes has turned his near-death experience into a mission to help others. Ken Glass is helping Northeast communities get their own public defibrillators to help save lives. With details, here's Nicola McCallie. It's two years since forest dentist Ken Glass's life was turned upside down. He was playing football when he suffered concussion after blocking a ball with his head. He asked his friend to drive him to hospital for a checkup, but on the way, without any warning, his heart stopped. Attack of cardiomyopathy is what they call it, um, and basically one ventricle of my heart stopped contracting, um, so the, the whole heart it went into spasm and essentially just stopped. Ken's friend pulled over with an ambulance on the way he and others battled to save him. It took the ambulance crew's seven defibrillator shocks to bring Ken back. He'd effectively been dead for 19 minutes. Now he and others have set up defibs for Murray. They're helping communities install the potentially life-saving machines in public places right across the region. Adult patient, call for medical assistance. I got such good care and bystander from CPR that I realised that if anybody else, people will go through this. People will have cardiac arrest, people will have had heart attacks, people will have this happen to them. Some community groups are a wee bit more involved. You can't stand in Burry Head without being within 300 metres of a defibrillator. Greg Winter was on hand to help Ken that day. He's now also involved in the project. The ambulance service responded to 3,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests every year. Um, of those 3,000, only 1 in 20 will survive until discharge from hospital. So to visit the ward that Ken was being cared for in and uh, meet him sitting up eating dinner was uh, incredible. Elgin Town Hall recently received a defibrillator, with more already planned for elsewhere in Murray. Well, the Town Hall itself has a lot of events running and a lot of people and it'll be a great asset for the people in the hall. But also, we've got the local park, it's in close vicinity, plus the high street. So it's in, it's in a very good spot. In 2016, 448 people living in the NHS Grampian area suffered an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. 18 of them survived. Defibs for Murray wants to give more people that chance. I want to make my story the, the more common story. Um, so not just about survival, but survival to get back to normal life. Um, we don't want to survive, we want to live. Nicola McCallie, STV News.